I don't know if y'all heard, but September is the new January, and this week we are resetting for our new year. We're brainstorming, we're vision boarding, we're planning, we're getting our lives together. This week in my life vlog is perfect for those who need a little extra pep in their step, a little motivation. Maybe you've been in a rut, maybe you also have had a horrible year. I'm not sure what you're going through, but I think you're gonna like this vlog. And stay tuned for next week, because next week we reset my house. It's going to be crazy crazy from the garden to the closet to the garage i mean it's it's gonna be insane anyways i hope you guys enjoy resetting with me this is my office in here i love my desk it's cute it's great but i really like working on like a big table but I have a bed here and I can't really like switch it up that much. Sometimes when I just feel like I've been in a funk though, I like to like switch up my working routine thing. So I'm gonna go get my like foldable table and put it in the middle of this room. I like to work on like a communal table. I have a huge corkboard and whiteboard coming too that I'm probably gonna put just against this wall for the time being and see I don't have guests coming for a second. So we're gonna just set up because we've got a lot of work to get done guys. y'all welcome back to my channel welcome to another week in my life video i'm really excited about this week's vlog because we're actually doing a new year reset yes it is september all right listen i miss being a child when it felt like the new year was in september the new school year and i've had the worst year of my life and i feel like i've just been off you know i went really crazy early january and then everything hit i wanted to just do a little new year reset in september so listen, you don't need a new year to get new goals, okay? I will say I'm not gonna um, expect like the most intense stuff out of myself right now. I'm in very, very, very deep grief, but we will be resetting for the new year. So maybe you are going through something, you're going through a breakup, you're in a funk, maybe you're also grieving, whatever it might be, we all have something going on. This vlog, we are getting it together, okay? Real time, it's actually the last week of August, so I'm gonna do this so that when I get back from my trip this weekend, I'm gonna be like full force, ready to go, hopefully. So I hope you guys are enjoying this Labor Day weekend, happy Labor Day weekend, and this is giving you the inspo that you might need in the next year. In the next year, and in the next week. If any of y'all do this, please tag me on Instagram. I'm just gonna take you guys through everything that I'm doing. So I did move a table into my office, into my really cute, beautifully designed office, and this table is really ugly, sure. Um, I just needed a little change and sometimes you need to like change up your workspace that you're in Okay, I was on the couch all last week. No wonder I was unmotivated. Like why was I working from the couch? Okay, I was sick too granted, but like Just awful first thing change your space. Okay, I'm in my office that I really don't use that much because it's also my guest room I switched it up even in here. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I have this like little Devo book But I have, like a morning reading book. Okay, I know a lot of y'all probably like daily stoic This book is my favorite ever. I've reread it so many times. It's draw the circle 40-day prayer challenge So I'm gonna do this before I get into the rest of my day. I've already Gone on a run, I went to weightlifting, I worked in the yard, I had therapy, I showered, I got ready, and here we are, ready to start the day. Anyways, I'm gonna do this because I find that like, if I do a morning reading and journaling practice, I feel a lot more creative, I have a lot better of ideas, I can focus a lot better, and I just feel more prepared for my day, if that makes any sense. So, gonna start with that. So, I finished my reading and what I did first was I went through and I wrote down all of my big dates. So those are friend of mine shoots, friend of mine launches, collab launches, um, random things that I'm doing around my house that I'll need to do like content around, um, cooking classes, it's just like a lot of honestly like friend of mine stuff. The 10K that I'm running, different dinners, dinner parties that I'm hosting, cooking classes and like editor stuff I'm doing again with a friend of mine. I haven't even done anything for house guests in this at all yet. That one is like a little bit different the way that I structure that. I have all of this and then I have, I don't know if you guys can even see that, probably wasn't even helpful. I put that all out on a 30, 60, 90. So this is something that I learned in my college internship. You plan 30 days out, 60 days out, and 90 days out so you can see everything that's coming up. What's urgent, what's not as urgent, but just like keep on the back 
burner. Yeah, I have a lot in September. September's gonna be like a very busy month, which is why I wanted to kind of get ahead of it. I've been hard at work, so I ordered my lunch, Jersey Mike's. I get Macy's order. And then we have some Olipop. The best of the best. This is the best lunch. All right, y'all, it's now almost 3 p.m. My 30, 60, 90 is done. My mood board for upcoming shoots, done. My marketing rollout for a friend of mine for the rest of the year, done. I do have two more mood boards I really technically need to do still. And I just had a timer and I'm going through all my emails and answering all the ones that I've been putting off just in the past couple of days. I still have quite a few things that I need to do on this to-do list for today. I got a little over ambitious, but I'm kind of like hitting a wall. So I think I'm gonna move to the couch and answer these interview questions and then come back here. You know, you just gotta move around. You gotta do what you gotta do to keep things going. All right, y'all, I finished everything that I need to out there. I'm back in the office. I'm gonna do my last mood board and then I have events tonight. I'm feeling good about my new year reset. I did my 30, 60, 90, all my big dates, mood boards, emails. I cleared out all my messages and I'm also gonna be doing some stuff for like my personal life. Like I wanna clean out my garage a little bit this week. I need to prep the garden for fall because next week we're planting all of our fall plants for the garden, which is really exciting. And I'm actually going to be doing a whole closet organization reset video, which is also going to be filmed next week. So this feels good. I did make a coffee. Um, it's 4 p.m., but that's because I had to pick up Macy from the airport at 10.30, which is so far past my bedtime. It's, like, not even funny. Because I kind of like filming in here. Should I, like, do solo podcast episodes in here? I might do an entire solo podcast episode on this. But I also think it's important to make, like, personal goals and, um, like, hobby-related goals. So personal right now, it would just be, like, resetting and cleaning my house. And then hobby related, I'm running a 10K in a couple weeks. So just staying on track of my running schedule, which I have been staying on track. I kind of got a little bit off when I went to London, but we're back. Um, and Macy comes home tonight and she's been running. We got her to start running a couple weeks ago, so she's doing it with me. Feeling really good. I have a take home event tonight, so let's get started getting ready soon. Guys, I just chugged that coffee and Macy just fired me from my job of picking her up at 1030. I'm going to go to bed at 9 now, but how? <sighs> this is not good. It's time to get ready for tonight. It's been in a braid for my run all day. I was just trying to refresh it. Nothing's really working there. Since it's a Jacoba's event, we'll be wearing boots. Probably gonna go jeans and boots. Um, if you guys know me, I love cowboy boots. This entire wall that y'all are standing on, cowboy boots. Also, I got this new mirror, or this lamp. Cute, there used to be a pink one. I moved the pink one over here. Just makes this room very cozy. I'm really not trying to do anything revolutionary tonight. These boots, guys. If you are not a new vlog watcher, you would know that these are my favorite cowboy boots ever. I will link them below, but they're brown suede, okay? And I have, so I have been such a brown suede fan. Like, I'm obsessed. And brown suede is so in this fall. It's everywhere, so you need these boots they are my most worn boots even over my annies these are my annies they are my second most worn boots they are by far the most classic if you're getting your first pair of cowboy boots get the annies from Tacoas. these are so good you can wear them with literally anything they last forever they're just the best but i've gotten to the point where i have worn these more and they're just my all-time favorite boots so part of me is thinking i should wear one of my like hill house skirts by the way, y'all, the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, $8. I got like four or five of them in white, and then I got a gray, and I'm ordering more. It's the perfect, just like fitted, ribbed t-shirt, $8 on Target. It's crazy. And then I have so many of these Cezanne tank tops. You might ask, like, why do you have so many of them? Because they're white, and I stain them, and I try my absolute best not to, but that's just reality, and that's my truth, so. I'm thinking this might be the vibe. Okay, I'm not wearing this. I changed up. I don't know why, but I'm just sharing the difference between these two. Like the suede ones better under a boot just because they cut a little bit lower. And then I like the Annie like with shorts and dresses and stuff. I feel like it just cuts the leg off in a more flattering way. Um, this mini skirt, by the way, Abercrombie. I'll link it below. It's a really good one. This, I was going to throw a belt on with it and stuff, but this like just isn't... It's not really giving what I want it to give. Life is so much easier when you can just throw on a jacket. Obviously, it's gonna everything looks better with a Carhartt jacket. Are you 
joking. Guys, what am I doing? I'm not obsessed. It does feel like a pretty easy fit with my Louis Vuitton like little bag. I mean, this is fine. Like, it'll, it'll do. Getting ready so fast. I don't know why I even bothered with my hair. When I was in London, we got some new Color Wow products. I love the like one spray that I have from Color Wow. What is this? This is the one minute transformation. Danny said that she saw this be used at a shoot and it was unbelievable. You After a blowout, like the next day, you would put a little bit of this product in, brush it out, maybe blow dry it out a little bit and it just transforms your hair. So I'm excited to use it when I actually have like a blowout and something to keep. I also got this product, the Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. Tried to use it today and I didn't love it. I think I'll give it a couple new tries and whatever. It's supposed to thicken and lift your hair. Um, which I would love for that to happen, but I didn't really love that one. And then this one I'm so excited for. This is the speed dry blow dry spray and it makes it faster when you dry your hair, which feels like it has to be bad for your hair. I don't know. This is the Frenchie Awaken and Uplift Renewing Body Wash in Citrus Amber. I have never used a better smelling product in my life. I totally understand the Frenchie hype now. It is so good. It makes your entire bathroom. And because like I have an open wall between my bathroom and my bedroom, it like makes my entire room smell so amazing. Like I used it this morning and it still smells so good in here. So it's basically like a candle at the same time. I feel like with body washes, it's hard to find one that I really love that I feel like smells really good and actually works and moisturizes my skin. Is this like making me so angry that I'm doing this as I'm talking? And that is so good. I've been using it for the past couple of days and I am in love with it. I've also been back on my Tower 28 lip jellies. Is that what these are even called? That's what I call them. Yeah, lip jelly. This is just chill. It's the clear one, but I do have the colored ones or just my other bag. So moisturizing, just such a good lip gloss. I live and breathe. This has just turned into a little favorites. I feel like I should bring back favorites videos, but like on TikTok, like for myself. Okay, this Sony Clover bag, this one especially with two pockets, is amazing because I have like, this is basically the makeup that I wear in the summer and then brow gel. And then on this side, I have my skincare and I just throw it in my bag whenever I go to like the lake or my dad's house or whatever. I stay at my dad's this weekend. So it's really, really nice. I love this Ilya Sunset Cream Bronzer in Rise. Just adds a little something. I go on super light. I'll do skincare, super goop sunscreen, which I already have on, and golden hour. I actually don't know if I have it on, but normally I would put it on in the morning. I'm not sure if I did today or not. Just a little bit so it adds like something. And then I'll go in with a blush or this Ilia highlight, which is the cream highlighter, highlighter, highlight in Glint. Uh, oh my gosh. I just stabbed my eye. I don't know what I was thinking there. And then I have my lip gloss on and I pretty much call it a day there. It's about as good as you're gonna get when it's 100 degrees outside. Actually, yesterday was supposed to be our last day in hundreds. And to be really honest with you, I don't know who told me that or where I got that fact. And I've just been telling everyone that and I don't know at all if it's true. I definitely heard it somewhere. I don't know if it was a reliable source, but I told half of Texas that. So I'm gonna be getting some angry phone calls next week if that isn't the case. Tonight I'm going to an event with Tacobas at their North Park store. They're doing a collaboration, which is so exciting. Tacobas is my all-time favorite brand, literally ever, and I just love them. However, this is about as good as you're gonna get for me getting ready, just period, in the summer. But especially on a Monday, like on a Monday night, 6 p.m., I'm in bed. Here's my final look. It feels crazy to be dressed up on a Monday. I don't even really leave my house on the weekends. Like, I don't do things. I don't really see people. I just, I don't do this stuff. So, like, going to a, a Monday night feels kind of crazy to me. I do things, but, like, people come to my house and, you know, I've been depressed, okay? You know, whatever. I still am, but, um, it's not the best thing ever. You know, whatever. Feels fine to me. That is so exciting. Fall for us. I have all of my anthro 
fall cups. I think they're up back there. Here's one of them. Little candy cord. It's so cute. Um, I'm not doing something super festive for Labor Day weekend. I have very exciting plans. If you guys are watching this vlog, go on my Instagram and you will see them. They're very, 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 very exciting, but I'm not going to say them out loud because I've never been more terrified of spoiling anything in my life. So it's on my Instagram as you guys are watching this video. But why it's fall to me. And you guys know I just love fall anyways. Good morning, y'all. I'm meeting Macy for our morning run. I've decided that my long runs are going to be on Thursday. There is an old woman passing my car staring at me as I film this, please. So I think Macy and I are doing a little 35 minute run. Let's see how far away from the 10K we are now. It's two weeks from Saturday. <clears throat> so Macy will be here shortly and then we're gonna be reunited and doing our run. We're two and a half weeks out from the 10K. I'm scared of long runs because Tabby's out of town for the next couple of weeks. I'm scared of doing long runs alone. I've been able to do long runs with her because it's really motivating and fun. Like I actually really enjoy it. We like get really excited for them and then we talk the whole time and it's just not the same doing it by myself. So if you guys do long runs alone, how do you do that? I just feel like I'm gonna get bored. Like anything past like four miles, I feel like I'm just gonna get bored. Like my five and my six have always done with Tabby. So let me know what you guys, so do I just have to like get over the hump and it's fine? I don't know, it's like an hour of running by yourself. I feel like I'll just get bored. But it's fun with people. Yeah. Look who it is. I can drive still, you know, like. Oh yeah, just back from the Big Apple. I knew everyone would be like, oh, like you haven't driven in so long. Like, no, I can't. Totally. You know? I don't have chapstick to you. Yeah, it feels so crazy that you're not Tabby right now. No offense. Well, I'm in her car. I know, and this is my meeting spot with Tabby now. I know, I'm sorry. I just think, like, I've just really adjusted to my lifestyle with Tabby. Are you going to be able to stand in for the next couple of weeks? <laughs> oh, I found my chapstick. That's what happens when you leave me. Sorry, they, moves have to be made. I'm back. I'm showered. I'm making breakfast. We're doing a taste test. I love these Fairlife protein shakes, but I normally get the chocolate. I've never had the vanilla. 26 grams of protein. I know they have a 42 gram one. Crazy. Oh, it tastes so, I think I like the vanilla the best. I like this better than the chocolate. I love Fairlife. Like it's so good. So good, especially after a run. I feel like I just need more protein right now. It almost tastes like in the best way possible, like the little like Starbucks milks that you would get growing up. A very, very devastating thing happened to me yesterday. It's supposedly getting fixed tomorrow. I don't know if it's actually going to be fixed. The wallpaper is spoon flower, by the way. Look at this. Look at this. I know it's humidity and, like, yes, it's peel and stick, but, guys, it makes me want to sob. Anyways, hopefully by the end of this vlog it will be fixed. That is ripped. I mean, it's really bad. I did email them, so maybe they'll help me. and make. When I fix this, I am going to add, like, a little thing in here that will help with humidity but the other like wallpaper has worked in the house and it just makes me want to sob because wallpaper is so expensive like actually so expensive anyways i'm finding i can barely walk in here but i'm looking for a tablecloth right now for my new desk in my office because it's so ugly okay i think that this is gonna work I let's go try okay like it really is an eyesore so Let's see. I don't even know if this is gonna fit, this table. I don't like this tablecloth though. Yes. Well, honestly, guys, like this is gonna have to be for now because I just simply can't go into the hosting closet because it makes me very sad to see it in this state. So I'm actually just avoiding it. And this is gonna have to do for now. I would never normally put this tablecloth to the size of a table. I have class. I have, I actually, I don't even think I have class, but basically it doesn't look good, okay, is what I'm getting at. But this, this is gonna have to do my water with my electrolytes. And I've gotta get to work, people, I do. It looks better until you can see the floor, so. Getting on a call, I can't take myself seriously at this desk. Grocery haul time. I'm gonna try out a couple new things this week, including a meat bowl, which I'm actually really excited for. Sauerkraut, so many eggs. I eat so many eggs. 
I have a brown turkey egg bowl like every morning. Mozzarella, whole wheat flour. I'm gonna make some bagels. I saw on TikTok this like bagel, pizza bagel recipe. And they actually made their own bagels. And I was like, honestly, that looks easy. Some glaze, baking powder, which I definitely always have, but I can never find it. Iced coffee, marinara sauce, basil, my chops, heirloom tomatoes, avocados, onions, and zucchini. I'll be making my beef bowl later. I'm actually about to go car shopping with my dad. I don't like the actual process of going car shopping. I've been putting it off for almost a year now. Guys, I'm going car shopping. Wish me luck. I'm gonna be real with y'all. It's 5 p.m. now. I'm about to make a coffee, okay? It's not good. I know I am so tired. Like Macy and I, we ran this morning, and I don't know what happened in that run, but like I've just been feeling so weak the past couple of weeks. I've been getting worse and worse at running. And both of us are just like, oh my God, I can't move. I'm just so worn out. So I don't think I'm gonna run tomorrow. Maybe just go on a nice little walk or something. Those of y'all who care about my running journey, which is probably not many at all. I feel like my schedule got really thrown off with London and then I just have been sick lately. So with the race two and a half weeks away, I mean, it's literally fine, I can run it, but I don't know. I just, I miss the days when I would wake up and just feel excited to run. Um, for the car that I test drove today, which is not a crazy car. I'm not trying to think Lamborghini They gave me well, I took my dad obviously because I'm scared of you know going by myself But I will never guess what they told me my car payment would be on the car that I was driving today $2,500 $2,600 Guys, it's because of their interest rates. I haven't gotten pre-qualified whatever but like it, I'm not driving a Lamborghini. Like it's not. It's not crazy. It's just. I was like, oh my god. So, anyways, needless to say, I didn't walk away with the car. I wasn't planning to. I needed to figure out what kind of car I wanted. Anyways, I really didn't even want to finish filming tonight because I'm like, all right, this is supposed to be like a reset motivational video. But listen, this is realistic, okay? To everyone who's been struggling, everyone who needs this motivation, needs this pick me up. The rest of the week is gonna be better, but. So here's the deal that I'm making with myself. I'm going to get my new board out, put it in my office, and get some things done there, and then I'm going to take my laptop to my bed and get everything done that I need to get done on my laptop for the rest of the week, so that in the next couple of days I can be filming and working on the yard. That way I'm still productive, getting things done, but I can lay down, which is, you know, what I need. All right, y'all. My cork board slash whiteboard has arrived. <laughs> And just like that, I have a wave of motivation back. So tomorrow is a filming day and my nails are horrible and they're bothering me. So I'm going to make myself go to the nail salon. I hate going to the nail salon. I'm going to listen to a good business podcast. And we're gonna get to it. I decided I'm gonna be giving myself blowouts today. It's 6 p.m. and I feel like the day is starting. I'm back home, about to shower, but my nails look a lot better. Bathroom has been a wreck. Sorry, I have teeth whitener stuff on. My bathroom has been a wreck for the past like two months and I just organized it, put everything away. It feels so much better. I still have bags in that corner, but I use those every day. It just, it's nine day, 15 minutes, set your timer and you're done. It feels so much better in here. By the way, y'all, I started a shop mine. I have all of my favorite products. 
link. So I have like my wallpapers, my skincare, my tanning, my favorite jeans, my favorite cowboy boots. All of it is there on Shop My. It's so nice. I like it so much better than LTK. Like seriously, it's amazing. Speaking of favorite things though, this is my favorite face tanner. I've talked about this before. I don't work with them. They've never gifted to me. I bought probably like 10 of these. I don't have a code. I use Macy's code. Like I literally have no connection to this brand. It's salty face. I get the medium to dark and I just spray it on my face like this. And then I just pat it in with this little brush. And that's it. It just makes me look a lot healthier. Like a lot more alive. Without this, I'm really, really pale. And I feel like I just look like a corpse. I like just having a little bit of color. Um, especially like in the summer when I'm not wearing makeup. It's like crucial to me then. It's so good. I also use Primal Skin Care for literally everything. This is all my shop eye. But so, so good. I'm going to keep my hair like this and cook some dinner. I love the days where like I have a second burst of energy at night and suddenly I'm so productive and I'm running for president. Like that is, I kind of live for that feeling. All right, y'all, I'm making the beef bowl. It's going to be so easy. Onion, zucchini. This, no matter what, but it's so good for that. Uh, I'm watching just Trish right now, but by the way, I use a Butcher Box Me. It's my favorite meat ever. I have that subscription. Again, I don't work with them. I've never been paid by them. I don't even think I've been gifted ever. I'm a paying customer and I love it. I'm trying to eat a lot more protein, so it's a great way to get protein in, but it's 100% grass fed and grass finished, which you really want grass finished because they can say grass fed, but then at the end of their lives they look. Actually, I can't even think about that, but anyways, I just love Butcher Box. It's so amazing. Okay, obviously this is a meal for health, but I actually like all these foods, so I feel like I'm gonna like it. I have my ground beef, avocado, sauerkraut, onions, and zucchini, and then I'm gonna add some coconut aminos. If I do like it though, it's really convenient for meal prep. Took me two seconds, and then I have all this ready to go. Something that I really wanted to do this week was just find some good go-to meals for lunch. I don't know about y'all, but for some reason, lunch is the hardest meal for me to eat, period. Like, I never know what I like. I don't want to take time in the middle of the day and like break up my workflow. I just feel like I never know what to eat. I love coconut aminos. All right, that is my dinner. Good morning, y'all. I'm going to try to style my hair with this Bondi Boost infrared thermal brush. Okay, update, I don't hate it. I feel like the ends of my hair are just dead and dry anyways. So I should probably put an oil on. But this is what I've decided I like for my hair in general now, is just like rounded ends. Very like chic, but see like every, even when I do it, I just feel like it's not, it's not it perfectly, but we're okay. This is the new set active like airlux material. I'm gonna link it below because it is the best material I've ever felt. Point blank, period. Not just like set active wise. I wear a large in the top and the top and medium is in the bottom, by the way. Not just set active wise, but like workout material in general. It's so flattering. It's the softest thing I've ever felt. It feels like you're literally wearing nothing. I'm pretty sure this is the one that has like UV in it. I don't know. I'm they send me this, but I'm setting my alarm because it launches in like an hour to buy every other item they have because I need every single thing. It is so good. And there's like a matching long sleeve. I can't wait for that this winter. Oh my god, like I cannot get over it. So if you guys are wanting to try out Set Active, I cannot recommend it enough. I feel like Set Active's prices too are a lot better than like the Lulu's and the Aloe's. I personally like it a lot better. I like the materials that are more like this, less like the ribbed one. Um, but unbelievable, like they're literally so good. So anyways, 
just filmed a bunch of TikTok stuff. I did like a 10 minute get ready with me, no cuts. I'm gonna eat a little bit of breakfast and then I'm filming my favorite Abercrombie denim, my favorite cowboy boots. I'm getting all this stuff done for short form so we have it on TikTok and then I will link like my shop my stuff. Um, I'm just very passionate about my recent Abercrombie denim. I get a lot of questions about it as well on what to get, what sizes, all that stuff. So that's gonna be on like my TikTok and my Instagram and on my shop my and on my LTK, everything will be linked below. It's just like the best denim, seriously. So anyway, it's really like a favorites morning is what it's kind of shaping up to be. Hearing new heights on in the background, it's giving fall, it's giving football, it's giving everything I need. Also, can we talk about their $100 million plus contract? Insane. It's genuinely like so crazy. Like these are all of my favorite Abercrombie denim. I will have everything linked with sizing. Okay, honestly y'all, I went a little crazy. I just filmed my belt collection as well. I have been filming a ton. I went through and I did a beginner's guide to cowboy boots, which boots you need. I need to move this back. Um, also, y'all, look at this outfit that I got. I'm gonna wear it to a Cowboys game. Look at that jacket, so cute. I was served an Instagram ad in these little mini shorts and I'm gonna wear them with my navy Abby boots for a Cowboys game. Like, how cute. That's the best Cowboys outfit ever. I got all that filming done this morning and I'm actually about to go and record my solo. But before I do that, we're going to test out if my beef bowl Ew, I don't like calling it my beef bowl. Whatever. If this bowl is good as leftovers, updates to come. Marry you. Oh my god. I just recorded my solo episode on my reset. So that's gonna be up this Thursday. Make sure that you go subscribe to the House Guest YouTube channel. It's really good. If y'all live in Dallas and you know of people who could come in to my house to record and make the podcast video quality like insane. I don't need an editor, I just need someone to come in and film it actually, but with insane quality. Like, I feel like everyone that has reached out, like the quality wouldn't be that much better than what I have. Um, I just like hate setting stuff up too because I'm not good at it. So if you know someone, I'm really trying to like up the video quality on the podcast. Please um, send them my way or maybe it's you, I don't know, whatever. Macy and I just recorded. I got all my recording done. Um, I changed into sweats. These sweats, by the way, from Abercrombie. The NFL sweats. I got a size large. They are the most comfortable sweats I've ever worn in my life. They look really cozy. They are so good. Their whole NFL collection is like so good. Is that top? It's on sale right now. No, this top, I don't know where this top is from. But we're going to watch... Um, no. Oh. I'm sorry, I meant... Therapist. Snooki's on, so we gotta catch up. Um, a venti ice water and then a grande pumpkin cream cold brew, please. Can that be off for you? Yes, thank you. Happy Thursday, y'all. Today is supposed to be our last day at 100, and it's inconveniently the day that I have to add compost to my garden, but I need to get that done because next week we're planting for fall. Also, I had a bunch of stuff printed out, so we're gonna go over my vision board. Been a week of reset, but honestly, I've had a very tough week emotionally. I don't wanna get into it, but I just wanted to say, if you're feeling off, if you're feeling weird, if you're down, if you're depressed, I see you, I feel you, I love you. It's really hard, you're doing better than you think you are. I am getting a pumpkin cream cold brew. I put on my overalls, which for some reason, when I put my overalls on, it's because it, it's how I dress as a kid, I think. It calms me to no end. Like, I've never had an outfit make me feel this way. Thank you. Thank God. Okay, I've got my beds, and then I have this new hose. So I had to replace my hoses. These are, you know, the things I get excited for. Sorry that it's so crazy. I need to actually hang it up. This is a steel hose, so it lasts a lot longer. I know in the summertime, I mean, it is summer, but it's there's a nice breeze right now randomly. I think it's about to rain, but normally you have to have gloves to hold this. But I was just tired. Every single time I had someone like plant sit for me, they were breaking my hoses. So I got a new one. That's better. And we're gonna prep the beds. Not a good season for onions. Look at me right now.
so gross now. My jeans are soaked. That's dirt. There's dirt all over me. I need a shower immediately. showered I'm trying to air dry my hair as much as possible before I give myself a blowout but I do have my stuff printed off to hang up here the issue is that I can't really show y'all a lot of what it is so we're gonna have to figure that out um, and then I got some supplies so exciting um, some expo markers expo guys do you remember this in school in the spray like that was so fun in some magnets so I'm gonna lay out everything that I can on here just so I can see it the main things that I'm working on right now are friend of mine drops for the next couple of months and then house guests which is my podcast I'm really thinking of turning my podcast into way more of a solo podcast I'm trying to find someone right now I'm actively trying to find someone who can come in and really revamp video I also want to start shooting i feel like part of the reason why it doesn't feel like it works when i record at home is because we're recording on the couch and it doesn't feel natural but it feels really natural if we're like sitting across from each other at, th at those chairs like the pink and white striped ones i don't know how to describe it that really would make a big difference so i'm just brainstorming my main two things right now a friend of mine and growing my podcast so we're gonna get going. This morning I journaled and I was having a really rough morning and I felt like a failure and like nothing I do works and nothing is successful and I am a loser and all of these horrible things. I'm feeling better now that I like took a step back and I'm doing all of this stuff, but you know what happens to the best of us. What's well, a little reset without like a freak out, you know? I'm trying to focus more on what I do have versus what I don't have. Really actively trying to do that. So seriously with this towel on much longer I added some photos some decks I'm covering them here these are our core products these are a bunch of photos it looks like it's a bunch of photos of me which I hate it's supposed to be the overall like brand vibe which didn't even work out well because the coloring printed different and the whole point was the coloring so anyways I feel better having this laid out definitely feels better and I can do a lot more from here I wanted to have a little meeting with y'all about this side of the board let's talk podcast first so this is kind of what I'm thinking house guest mainly solos there's also the option of me doing mini solos eventually I'm kind of thinking about that I like Kinsey and friends which is just like my close friends anyone that would be on my close friends list on the podcast so like Dom Macy obviously like TK Keaton like that kind of vibe like my actual really really close friends Conversations with guests when I have a house guest over. They would still technically be house guests, but when I have a guest to my house, um, just doing it less, it really just depends. In a perfect world, I have an interview episode every week and a solo episode, but we're just not at that point yet. As much as like I would want to do it, I just don't have the support to be able to do that yet. So that would be a dream. That's definitely down the line. And then keeping the book series. Anything else you guys want, let me know. And whatever topics you guys are interested in. I want it to feel more cohesive to where like you guys are tuning in every week and it's more real time and we're like talking and catching up every single week whereas right now I'm uploading interviews that I recorded four months prior because I'm really batched out I also like this over in the corner here I was just writing down like random things that I feel like I say um, house guests obviously house rules Kinsey and friends leaving the house could be when I'm in the studio and then house guest evangelist is really funny someone was commenting that on my tiktok recently of just like saying something that I shared and I thought it was funny. Actually, I made the joke. No, I think, no, they made the joke. And then here are just solo episode ideas. A lot of them are more of like what I'm learning in life, things that I'm doing, you know, whatever. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Those are definitely our most downloaded episodes, so I do feel like they are the favorites. 
Moving on to home of mine, which is my video series on social for a friend of mine and also just myself, where we tour different houses. Now, I haven't really gone through and done true lists. I've just re wrote down like what people have requested mainly. I definitely want more like cooking and home people, but, but I love doing this. I think it's so fun, especially for a friend of mine. So, I want to do more. So if you guys have good requests, let me know. I'm going to do one with my mom very soon. She's very excited about it. And that was like the top requested one. Okay, moving on over here. These are our core products. Like this is the core four. The binder, the journal, the dinner cards, the nightcap cards. If you guys don't have them yet, seriously, like you need to get them. I'm not just saying that because it's my product. But I really have worked so hard to make these the best of the best of the best. The quality is amazing. You'll use them for so long. They're so fun. They just bring a lot of joy into your life. So these are the core four. This is the general overall vibe. It's very Nancy Myers, kind of like Ralph Lauren, Nancy Myers inspired the things that I love the most. These two decks right here are two upcoming photo shoots. I actually didn't get to the third one, but I don't need to have that one fully done yet. I'm still kind of working with the people that we're collaborating with, so I couldn't really do it yet. Anyways, I feel good about this, just having this visually. I know that I didn't do rocket science with this, but I'm such a visual person that being able to like see stuff, which like this stuff is the main that stuff that I'm just kind of hiding. There's like 20, there's like 20 pieces of paper on both of them that you just can't see. Um, having this up here really is so helpful to me. We have some amazing news, guys. The wallpaper's back up. It's really messed up still. But at least it's up for the time being. I've got to figure out what I want to do. I, I'm going to start framing stuff up here very soon. So part of me is like, what if I had a staple out at the top? Is that crazy? These lights are so ugly. Like this closet is so stunning. And then you look up there. It really just kills me. Anyways, very happy about that. Minus that, you know, it's okay. Progress, not perfection. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna end this week's vlog. I'm leaving to, I don't even wanna say where I'm going, but I'm going on a very exciting trip in the morning. I'm surprising someone. So I need to get everything set in order, ready to go. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you're leaving feeling seen, feeling kind of inspired, maybe a little bit more motivated, but it's just kind of like we were on FaceTime. Maybe it was like the escape you needed. Love you guys and I'll talk to you soon, bye. Oh wait, please seriously leave me all the feedback in the world. Thank you. Mm -hmm.